All right, ladies and gents, tonight's beer is Czechvar Original. Now this is a Czech lager. Oh boy. Now, I love me some nice Czech lagers and pilsners. I mean, come on, I'm part Czech, it's in my blood. Um, and before we open this up, I want to talk about a very interesting factoid around this beer. So, as I've already said, the name is Czechvar. However, that's not his actual real name. It has to be called that in the States as well as a f other few countries. The reason being its real name is Budweiser Budvar. Budweiser. Yeah, it has the same name as the world-renowned American Budweiser. And this has been an ongoing dispute between the um, American Budweiser and Czech Budweiser since the 1930s. And the thing is, to add fuel to the fire, the, um, Budweiser is actually an old term, spanning back hundreds of years. It just refers to beer um, being made in the city of Budweis in the Czech Republic. Like this one. And in the 1800s, Adolphus Busch, uh, who was a German-American in, um, German immigrant of Anheuser-Busch, um, just basically took the name and made Budweiser because it was a popular beer at the time. Uh, it has nothing, but American Budweiser has absolutely nothing to do with a true Budweiser. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot of, a lot of lore right there. Um, so, uh, I, let's, uh, I'm pretty excited to try out a, well, I guess an authentic Budweiser, Budweiser. So without further ado, let's open it up and, uh, check it out. All right. Uh, I know that was a lot of information, but I just wanted to talk about it. Very interesting stuff. All right. Got my nice bottle opener. Let's open it up. Nice. Nice hiss and nice pop off. Got my nice Brooklyn Brewery glass. Let's pour it in. Nice glug. Let's see how this compares to the American Budweiser. I can't believe they stole the name. I hope Adolphus Bush is burning in hell. All right, let's see. So, as you can see, it's got a nice golden color, very clear golden color, and it's got a pretty nice head. Oh, yeah. Let's give it a whiff and try it out. They're definitely very hoppy. Um, a little bit skunky, but not overwhelming. Hoping it's not skunked. Let's see. Green bottles always worry me, man. Oh, wow. Okay, it's not as skunky as... Yeah, that, that's that's not bad, actually. Yeah, nice and nice and hoppy. It could put kind of a sourness in there, a little bit of bitterness. Yeah, you know. This is just kind of just like a ch typical, like, Czech lager. Kind of reminds me of, like, a Pilsner or Kell. Although, um, probably a bit more hoppiness. And a, bit more of that sourness and just a tiny bit of skunkiness, but it's not, yeah, you know, it's nothing offensive. It definitely has more going on than Budweiser, so, um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. <laughs> definitely very interesting beer historically, um, but, so yeah, this is an OG Budweiser, um, a real Budweiser, actually, uh, American Budweiser just stole the name, so... Yeah, uh, if you want to try the a beer that was that inspired the American Budweiser, try to find Czechvar. I found this one a total wine. So uh, yeah, so this was a very long review. Sorry about that, but I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I recommend. <laughs>